who to create this wonderful uh, graduate, uh, they're very, very much uh, in line with the neighbors down the street. And in, in many instances, our schools are right across the fence from a mm -hmm. state schools mm -hmm. and many times uh, state HBCUs. Mm -hmm. And so uh, they, can, they can hold their own. They mm -hmm. really can because we work to keep our tuition low. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one of the things that the Black College Fund supports. Um, they support uh, honors programs, mm -hmm. um, travel for their faculty to do research and, and conferences and things like that. So it's a real gift. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the thing that I love about it is that most of the funding is unrestricted. Many people want to give you money for uh, a building that has their name mm -hmm. on it or they want to fund this or that or the other, but the money that comes from the United Methodist Church goes to the schools. And so today, if they need to uh, fix the roofs. Mm -hmm. uh, the they funds can, are there. They, the they, funds they, are there mm -hmm. and we don't ask them any questions mm -hmm. about, okay, so what did you do with that money today? Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a special gift. Now, they do have some uh, special projects that uh, they have to uh, apply mm -hmm. for, but for the most part, the money goes to the schools every month regularly mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that they can depend on that in their budget. Now, I, I don't think that if uh, we didn't give them any money, they would all go out of business mm -hmm. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But I tell you what, it is such a gift so mm -hmm. that when we do help them, they're able to nurture the students mm -hmm. and the students they turn out are absolutely amazing. It was just at a uh, Meharry function mm -hmm. and looked at one of the Black College Fund ambassadors and mm -hmm. he was just so shiny. He uh, was confident and uh, well trained mm -hmm. off to Baylor University mm -hmm. to uh, do a residency and so uh, they the students can compete with anybody anywhere. They do very well in graduate school and uh, they're wonderful in every yeah. way. You know, uh, I, I wanted you to say something specific about Meharry Medical College because it's been there a long time oh, and, yeah. and, and you went on to talk about it as if I had already, and, and that's exactly what, and I think that, that it, it has left an impression on you as if oh. as the institution is really doing a lot of good and positive things. Is that listen, what we're saying? Listen, they uh, have research about what happens with seatbelt use mm -hmm. and uh, Dr. Hildreth and his AIDS research is blessing mm -hmm. the world, mm -hmm. the worldwide. Mm -hmm. And so if you look at any of the schools, mm -hmm. they are all unique. And even though they look like they might all be about the same, mm -hmm. they're each unique. Mm -hmm. uh, at Claflin University, they have research on prostate cancer and mm -hmm. miscarriages, and uh, they're trying to solve so many of the world's problems today, mm -hmm. and that's happening at our neighborhood HBCU, mm -hmm. and that's the thing that is mm -hmm. absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, we give them capital funding mm -hmm. so that they can keep their facilities up to date and uh, mm -hmm. uh, attractive so they can attract the best and the brightest mm -hmm. students because nobody really wants to go somewhere where they've mm -hmm. not uh, been doing good upkeep and things mm -hmm. like that so uh, the money is a real gift and certainly we need some more. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Johnetta Cole made a point to me uh, about four years ago when she was still president at Bennett that if we added the endowment of all the HBCUs mm -hmm. together we still wouldn't have as much money as a Harvard mm -hmm. or a, or even a Vanderbilt mm -hmm. and so uh, the schools are always struggling to make sure that they can uh, not just pay their bills, but to fund the dreams and hopes of mm -hmm. the students and the faculty. So uh, we need additional funding from mm -hmm. uh, our audience and from, uh, we need good students. We're mm -hmm. always looking for those uh, top of the line students. And of course, we take students who uh, just have a dream. Mm -hmm. They may not have ever heard that they could do a good job in school because mm -hmm. they've not been successful in the mm -hmm. past, mm -hmm. but uh, the schools are open and welcoming. And, and, and who could say that each might be another Hobson? <laughs> In the real sense, you, you're from Clark, and, oh, and, and I listen. would imagine that what you're talking about really is your own Absolutely. rise and your own ability Absolutely. to be able to move from one place to another at, with the support of uh, such institutions. Absolutely. The, uh, and so I think you're just uh, you're an example of, 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 what, of what the institutions are doing. And Absolutely. that's what we were trying to get across today, Absolutely. that these institutions still need some support, Absolutely. you see, and, and no matter what they're doing, they really need some support and, and, and that uh, they've got excellent uh, institutions.
institutions as well as excellent examples of what sure. these institutions are doing. And so that's why we wanted to uh, talk to you about uh, these institutions as well as the church itself. And let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.